Good morning. Going back to the basics about God, part two. God forgives. And I feel that this is one of the biggest and yet quite often doubted messages of the Bible. See, God forgives consistently and wholly. See, if we look at Adam and Eve, we see this. God creates perfection, a garden full of beauty and wonder and breathes life into man to take care of that garden. He gives him plenty of responsibility, every opportunity for a strong relationship with God. And man is given just everything. But then man breaks the one rule, don't eat the fruit from the tree. Simple, one thing. Yet man just can't do it. They eat the fruit. And imagine you gave someone, your spouse, your child, your best friend, everything. Imagine you worked really hard, you created it, and you handed it all over to them. But they still couldn't do one thing that you asked of them. How would you feel? Especially when what you were asking them was for their best interest. It's imagine if you asked right now at this time that for your child, your spouse, your best friend not to go out to a house party in this current climate. And yet, how would you feel if they went? And you see, God allowed this. Why? Because he loved Adam and Eve. So much so he wanted them to have free will. It's like the ones we love, we don't want to control them. We just want them to, to make, and we pray that they do, make the right choices. Well, in this instance, Adam and Eve didn't make the right choice. And so it is, as often our bad choices do, it brings pain. And you know, we have to think how many bad decisions have we made? How much pain has been caused as a result of our bad decisions? Often we can blame God for the pain caused. And yet actually the bad decision and the consequence of it was purely and all ours. And yet here's the thing, God forgave Adam and Eve. In fact, after them totally going against him, he tells them moments later that one will come and crush the head of the snake which refers to Jesus coming to correct the wrong that they've done. So even though Adam and Eve have done everything to disrespect God, he forgives them and instantly puts a plan in place to correct all the wrong that they have caused. So you know what? God is for us. And looking around today, you might feel that there is no God. You might be thinking, how can he allow all this suffering to take place? You might be thinking, you've done so much wrong. How could he ever forgive you? But I know these things are true. One, God forgives. No matter what it is, he forgives. Two, he doesn't want us to suffer. He never created us to suffer. Sometimes suffering comes out of nowhere. Sometimes it can't be explained. Sometimes it is the result of our bad decisions. But God, instead of us suffering, sent his own son so that we can be forgiven and have a full relationship with him and spend eternity with him in a place where there is no suffering. God is so ready to forgive you. Whether you know him or not, he is ready to forgive you. All we need to do is ask.